Well, thank you very much for coming. I'm sorry the whole screen is not being shown here, but I'm watching my computer here that I see everything. Inshallah, I will talk about Alzheimer's disease. What is Alzheimer's disease? A lot of people do not understand what is Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a neurogenerative disease. Brain is the target of this disease. What happens, dementia is the cardinal sign. Cardinal means main sign is the dementia of Alzheimer's disease. And what is dementia? Dementia is general trauma, loss of cognitive function thinking, remembering, reasoning, and orientation. Dementia is not a normal part of aging. A lot of people think that you get old, that you lose your memory anyway. I have friends who are 95 years old, they're writing, publishing things. They can go way into into 90s, still they have a good memory. People in the 80s have good memories, and people in 60s lost, lost, lose the memory. There is no a reason and rhyme for the age. However, greatest risk is advancing age. Most of the people are in the advancing age. Most often, it begins after 65 years and older, mostly in the women. There are several theories why in the women, because the menopause, the hormones are less, so they, it, it affects, this is just the theory, there is no proven thing why it is more common in women. And Alzheimer's is a progressive disease, gets worse over the time. There is no reversal, there is no cure yet. It is, Alzheimer's is marked, ranked seventh leading cause of the death in the world. And uh, scientists do not understand. There are lots of scientists in the world, especially in Europe, Britain, and USA, they're, they're working on Alzheimer's disease to get Nobel Prize. What, why we are hearing so much about Alzheimer's disease? I came to this country about 61 years ago. I never heard of Alzheimer's disease in my medical school. I never heard four or five years after I came here, I did a general practice residency. I never heard of Alzheimer's disease. Later, I started to hear. Because awareness of the Alzheimer's disease is increasing more and more, and patients are coming to medical school, medical hospital, and the age, in 1900s, this country, the age was 47 years maximum people were living. Now people are living 75 years. So people are living more and more. And the new research is taking place at all the time. Economic burden is increasing, taking care of the patient as the most costly disease, a very costly disease. And in US 2019, caregiving costs estimated to 234 million per year. It's a very expensive disease to take care of it. The most worldwide production is about 9.1 trillion by 2015. Causes of Alzheimer's disease. Causes of disease is poorly understood. The only theories why Alzheimer's disease takes place. About 70% risk is, the, is the genetic. I have seen lots of patients with Alzheimer's disease. Their mother was Alzheimer, our father had Alzheimer, 70% according to literature is genetics. Age, increasing age is the single greatest risk factor, increasing age. And 60 years and older, 10%, 80 years and risk, risk increases to 45 to 50%. In 2015, about 48 million people worldwide suffered Alzheimer's disease. Other risk factors are many, head injury, Parkinson's disease, uh, many strokes, depression, hypertension, lack of sleep, thyroid. These are all the speculations that, that the thing that causes Alzheimer's disease. Here is a <coughs> slide that uh, when on the left side, on, the, on this side, they see, this is the normal brain, and this side is the Alzheimer's brain. This is the hippocampus, the main target organ. 
that is behind your uh, behind your ear. This is this is center of the of the memory. And this hippocampus, something happens in hippocampus. I will explain what happens in hippocampus. Then you start having Alzheimer's disease. And you see the congenital figure of the Alzheimer's disease, the normal disease is much different. Eventually, Alzheimer's disease starts to shrink. It becomes, becomes very small. Here is a video that I'm going to show, I hope. Alzheimer's disease. <coughs> Alzheimer's is a slow, fatal disease of the brain, affecting one in ten people over the age of 65. Can you hear it? Yes. No one is immune. The disease comes on gradually as two abnormal protein fragments called plaques and tangles accumulate in the brain and kill brain cells. They start here in the hippocampus, the part of the brain where memories are first formed. Over many years time, the plaques and tangles slowly destroy the hippocampus and it becomes harder and harder to form new memories. So I, I pressed the wrong thing. Oh, yeah. What is Alzheimer's disease? <laughs> Alzheimer's is a slow, fatal disease of the brain affecting one in ten people over the age of 65. No one is immune. The disease comes on gradually as two abnormal protein fragments called plaques and tangles accumulate in the brain and kill brain cells. They start here in the hippocampus, the part of the brain where memories are first formed. Over many years time, the plaques and tangles slowly destroy the hippocampus and it becomes harder and harder to form new memories. Simple recollections from a few hours or days ago that the rest of us might take for granted are just not there. After that, more plaques and tangles spread into different regions of the brain, killing cells and compromising function wherever they go. This spreading around is what causes the different stages of Alzheimer's. From the hippocampus, the disease spreads here, in the region of the brain where language is processed. When that happens, it gets tougher and tougher to find the right word. Next, the disease creeps toward the front of the brain, where logical thought takes place. Very gradually, a person begins to lose the ability to solve problems, grasp concepts, and make plans. Next, the plaques and tangles invade the part of the brain where emotions are regulated. When this happens, the patient gradually loses control over moods and feelings. After that, the disease moves to where the brain makes sense of things it sees, hears, and smells. In this stage, Alzheimer's wreaks havoc on a person's senses and can spark hallucinations. Eventually, the plaques and tangles erase a person's oldest and most precious memories, which are stored here in the back of the brain. Near the end, the disease compromises a person's balance and coordination. And in the very last stage, it destroys the part of the brain that regulates breathing and the heart. The progression from mild forgetting to death is slow and steady and takes place over an average of eight to 10 years. It is relentless and for now, incurable. Helping your family, friends and neighbors to better understand Alzheimer's reduce stigma, improve care, and even help the fight for a cure. Thanks for helping to do your part. Here, I'm showing here how the disease progresses through the brain. 
Number one is early stage, we can see 20 years before actually making the diagnosis. Mild to moderate stage take two to 10 years and severe stage may last one to five years. This is just a guess. I have a friend of mine, before the COVID, I used to go to his home. He was a very perky, very loud, like, talk, talks about his, his job, achievements. After the COVID, I went after about maybe after three, four years, I saw he was very quiet. I knew, you knew immediately something is wrong with his brain. And later his wife came and told me that he's suffering with Alzheimer's disease. Now in year, year and a half, he is unable to be controlled at home. He was getting up in the night and walking out. So they have to put him in nursing home. It's a sad story of my friend, dear, dear friend. Early stage of Alzheimer that you have earliest stage before symptoms can detect breaks and tangles begin to be formed in the hippocampus area as I showed before. It may last 15 to 20 years and most people escape diagnosis at this stage. Trouble in remembering names and face. We sit in the masjid after a Zohar prayer and a lot of people tell me, Dr. Sam, I know this person very well, but I don't know the name of this person. This is very common. This is not Alzheimer's disease. It is just an aging process. Where did I put my keys? We leave the home and forget to purpose. Why did I go outside? Tip of the tongue phenomenon. I remember it. I have it on the tip of my tongue. It is one for years till the Kimura Yamiara. This is the early stages that people happen. Individual compensate, they compensate, they put the watch on the right hand so that they remember what is happening to them. They compensate and live independently. Mind to moderate Alzheimer's disease, plaques and tangles start to spread over the areas of brain as the video has shown. Increasing memory thinking problems interferes with the work and social life, confused trouble handling money and, and, and expressing th th themselves. Most people are first diagnosed at this stage of Alzheimer's disease. Plaques and tangles are the area of the speech and understanding. At this stage, personal has behaviors to develop, not recognized in friends and family members. Advanced stage is most of the cortex is, is all, entire, entire cortex is involved here and then it plays a havoc in the brain. Brain shrinks dramatically due to widespread cell death and cannot communicate anymore, forgets to tell when they are hungry, they are thirsty. Eventually, they die of lose the eventually loss of dignity, death due to dehydration and aspiration. They have lost the reflex of debilitation. They cannot swallow and then have the food in their throat and they take a deep breath because you have to breathe with, with, with the urge of breathing takes place. The food goes into lung and they choke and usually they die, you know, at that stage. Aging the brain memory, as we get older, the decline in memory takes place. However, middle-aged brain becomes sharp and agile. According to literature, at this stage, brain becomes more efficient at processing with available information, vocabulary seems to improve the middle age. That's why you need to see a doctor who is, who is the middle age, an attorney in the middle age, because their brains are sharp. Right and left hemispheres communicate better with age, and, we, and age, in the, and we age in wear and tear takes over, take the toll. Initially, we compensate our memory lapses, and eventually, the capacity takes place and it shows signs of dementia. Here is the graph how the disease progresses. <clears throat> age is the one way traffic that nobody goes back with the age. In the normal aging, the, the, between uh, uh, post 65, you get mild cognitive impairment, taking more time, still living independently, and at, at the end of the stage, we, uh, completely mental decompensation takes place and then, then death takes place. Symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, this is divided into four stages. Number one, 
mild cognitive impairment, early, early non-noticeable symptoms is related to short-term memory. Short-term memory is gone because of hippocampus keeps the short-term short memory. Early increasing impairment of memory leads to a definitive diagnosis. Uh, words problem appears, tip of the tongue phenomenon takes place. Moderate post progressive deterioration hinders independence, unable to perform daily activities. Advanced final request is completely dependent on caregivers. Language reduced to erotic sounds, eventually completely loss of speech. Patient cannot swallow, muscles, muscles reduced, patient usually die of malnutrition, aspiration, immunitis, and bed sources and sepsis. I was part of a, washing the body of a dear friend of mine. I saw blood was coming out from his ears, the dead body, still blood was coming out because he was sleeping on that side and nobody changed him and then he developed bed sores over the ears. So <clears throat> this and bed sores also diagnosis. How do we diagnose Alzheimer's disease? Carefully taken medical history is very important. Going to the primary care physician, advanced medical imaging, CT scan, MRI, and single foot automation, computer tomography, and PET scans. Uh, test, all tests help exclude cerebral pathology. There is no specific test of Alzheimer's disease. All these tests are done to exclude other causes of dementia. Assessment of intellectual functioning with subjective memory assessment. Here is I'm going to show you some subjective assessment. And at your home that you can do this assessment and figure it out whether you have started to have problems or not. Assessment. This is the usually a study I took it from, from a book from published by UCLA. The subjective memory, there are certain there are certain topics here. People's name, you know that you remember, uh, you forget rarely, you forget sometimes, you forget often. There are some questions, recognizing a face of forgetting a patient, there are several questions, then you score it, that you, you say rarely, I press one, after is three, uh, and after is five, so you score it independently at your home. This is a do yourself assessment tool to help the guy to start protecting your brain and list the number of Alzheimer's disease. You see a brain scan studies have shown that all these assessment scores correlate well with the pathological finding in the brain. Number two, now it is difficult finding the things and the places. This is the topic and there are certain questions here. Are you ready to that you know? that you rarely notice that, you notice sometimes, you notice often, and you give scores. And these measures are simple to use it and help you easily grasp where you stand and brain aging. It's very personal, no one knows about it, and you let you know the strength and advertisement of weakness. <laughs> is tip of the tongue phenomenon. Trying to remember the title of the movie you just saw or the paragraph that you read that you cannot remember it. You say rarely, sometimes, often. You score all these and then take a pencil and complete all the assignments to heart. Add up all this score. This is the events and plans. Forgetting the appointment and adding and going to doctor's office. You forget the address of doctor. So it happens rarely to you, sometimes or often. And you act all these things. And then this is a attentiveness. For forgetting some things someone just told you, or having to repeat the name of the person who just told you, rarely, sometimes, often. And you add this, add this. If your score is 10 or less, it is, it is one of the categories, don't need to worry that your brain is okay. If your score is 15, that you need, need to pay attention and consider spending time practicing technique to improve your skills in the area. That there are doctors who specialize, neurologists who specialize in this, they can show you what exercise they can do 
to to I, I mentioned you mentioned also by lecture here what can you do to mental exercise? If your total is 40 or less, that you have minimal problem. But if your total is 70, that you might be experiencing more frequent memory challenges. That's the time that you need to see a doctor and start having a establishing diagnosis and do the early treatment. No need to panic, according to UCLA, neurons can be resilient and, and return to normal function with more practice. UCLA functioning MRI skin have shown that even older, older vertical brain have elasticity to bounce back, bounce back with mental exercises. Further investigations, you can do a neurological examination and blood test and in all these simple tests just to rule out that other diseases are not involved in, in, in this diagnosis. Prevention of Alzheimer's disease, currently no evidence that any measure effective in preventing the disease. The studies have suggested certain metabolic factors can help such as physical exercise. The most important thing is physical exercise. I will show you graph how physical exercise helps to prevent or delay the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. And use of proper diet, stress and depression management, intellectual act activities, exercise, need to need to do into exercise. I wrote my autobiography uh, about four or five years ago. I still publish some chapters of my autobiography in Charmina Connection uh, to keep my brain agile and active so that my brain keeps exercising when I when I write articles or I publish articles. Use of pharmaceutical products. I've mentioned what pharmaceutical products are available. Here is memory loss that if no treatment, that, that, the, that the curve goes look like this, that you go down between 60 and 85, that you, that you have memory loss. And physical exercise protects it. In a daily walk, brisk walking, delay the uh, Alzheimer's disease between 70 to 72 years. Two years of delay takes place if you do brisk walking every day. And uh, uh, towards personal, personal risk for memory loss is 60% less if, if you do daily walking. Uh, cardiovascular conditioning has similar effect. Pumping iron, burning, building brain muscles, improves the cognition. If you do this, do this exercise, lifting weights, strengthening brain muscles, and any form of cardiovascular conditioning has similar effect that you can de delay the symptoms for about three to four, five years. N newer studies have shown that strength training can improve cognitive health. Here I am before COVID that I used to work, work in a, uh, 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 workout center. I used to do all sorts of exercises. <clears throat> Role of chronic inflammation in genesis of Alzheimer's disease. Chronic inflammation in the old age, immune system is in low gear, makes, makes them susceptible for infections. Chronic inflammation is, is a driving force, many age-related illnesses. Lack of sleep, stress, smoking, sedentary life, start contribution to chronic inflammation. Pro-inflammatory cytokine triggers excessive inflammation throughout on the body. Role of diet and d d dementia. Eating antioxidant food may protect wear and tear of the DNA in our cells. Colorful berries and various fruits containing polyphenol phenols that fight oxidation. Rodan, Rodan, Rodanam study reported that higher dietary intake of vitamin E lowers the risk of dementia. And pomegranate juice also lowers the risk of the dementia. I take uh, pomegranate uh, molasses uh, almost every day. Expert recommend eating a wide range of food. That is the best thing that you eat all sorts of foods. Stress and depression can cause memory problems. Stress also poses risk of memory uh, problems. 
Stress shows up nervousness, irritation, tension, anxiety, fear, and sleep problems. Studies have shown that older people with depression have a greater risk of dementia. Stanford Animal Study has shown that mice under stress develop atrophy of hippocampus. Medical management of Alzheimer's disease. First FDA approved drug, Cognix, didn't work, and three, three more drugs didn't work either. These are the drugs that they, uh, FDA approved, but they did not work. These drugs also help patients with Alzheimer's, other kind of dementia. These drugs also produce agitation, depression, help the caregivers to take care of them. So none of the drug works. Now, if you have the early treatment, you can, you can gain few years. If you start making early treatment, you can gain few years before you, you decompensate with Alzheimer's disease. And th th there is a, another drug by name Numenda. If you add Numenda, it further increases the delaying of the disease. Uh, there is a, I forgot the slide, there is a new drug just approved in 2003. Uh, I forgot the name of the drug. It's difficult to pronounce anyway. It is an infusion that you take it twice a month infusion for a whole year. It's a very expensive drug. It costs 26,500 the whole year. But Medicare has approved it with 20% co-payment. If you give this drug early in, in, in the disease that you can delay the symptom for at least six to seven years, they, they claim. It was very early stage, this drug is available for the, for the people that who have shown early signs of Alzheimer's disease. In conclusion, Alzheimer's most common cause of dementia. There are no cures for this disease. And a very, very careful diagnosis symptoms can be delayed by seeing a doctor early, indulging in physical exercise, avoiding stress, doing mental exercise, taking proper diet, taking medication regularly. Well, thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. But the first, that's the first half. This is your subject. There is a, in the ARP magazine, I don't know how many of you get it, uh, there is a really explains what you just said, it, and also what is new research going on. So I think if you have that magazine, uh, AARP magazine, I think you can have this. Oh, thank you very much. You did a really wonderful job. Uh, uh, there is a AARP magazine which came, I think, uh, two you know, issues before that. I think it gives complete detail about where the Alzheimer's started how long it is there and what is new in that. So I think you can see like what you mentioned last thing is like infusion treatment they are coming with that. So expensive of it, everybody cannot ex you know, afford it. Uh, but uh, that too also, uh, they can increase only for six months. Uh, so like a delaying of the process, but uh, I think that is also not very easily available kind of a thing. But as far as the exercise, the mental, mental exercises, I think that is very important. I think if you can uh, stress on that, that will be better, I think. Uh, like if you want to memorize things, keep doing that, Quran memorization is very good. And other activities like the sudo, sudo, uh, sudoku, that's another thing which can help you to play with the numbers. And then there are the different level of it. It is very cheap, like a dollar or two dollar kind of a thing. Each, uh, the booklet come on that. And also, like, uh, there is other newspaper also gives every day uh, some kind of a word selection or finding out crossword puzzle. So those are the things I think you should keep busy. And if you want to have a hobby, I think in the hobby you can have, like, a music. So you can learn the, some music, which is a new thing. I think new thing, if you keep learning, I think you are rejuvenating or connecting more neurons. So that will also help you. I think there are something uh, you can look into it. Thank you. Well, I read that article. Oh, you did? A ARP article, I read that. I read that article, ARP article. I took that article, that, that 
the drug, IV infusion drug, is that in, in, in that article? Yes. Somehow I made the slide, but you know, I'm missing that slide. I made the slide that AARP article shows that this drug is very helpful. It's a game changer for, for the people who are, who are newly diagnosed. Uh, it's not a cure, but it delays the symptom for a long time if you give it in early stages of the disease. Do you remember the name of the drug? Uh, no. <coughs> it's difficult to pronounce, you know? Yeah, it is all... L-I-M-B-I-I, -I -I, something like that. Very difficult to pronounce. So do, but I had a slide, but somehow it is missing. It is a good yeah, I read that article, AARP article, and I took points from that AARP article also. Thank you very much. Thank you, excellent. <laughs>